Today we're going to try and start looking at some higher voltage gain topologies for our operational amplifiers and we're going to start with the folded cascode amplifier. And if we think about the simple cascode that we looked at in class the other day, the folded cascode uh, differential amplifier is going to look very similar. We're going to start with two current source transistors, M5 and M6. These are going to be connected to some bias voltage, VB. We'll call this bias voltage 1. And these are going to feed down into a couple of common gate amplifiers that will be connected to a second bias voltage, VB2. Now our input stage is going to consist of two NMOS transistors connected as a differential input, V minus and V plus here. And these are going to be biased by a transistor operating as a current source. So we'll call this one M1, M2. We'll call this transistor M. 11. It will be connected to a bias voltage VB3. And our drains of these transistors will feed over and go into the common gate stage. So this is just like a normal cascode. We have a common source stage going into a common gate stage. Now this is going to be biased with a cascode current source or we should say loaded with a cascode current source and these will be M6 sorry, M8, M10, M7, and M9. And we'll take our output between M4 and M8. So we have a differential input, single ended output, and functionally we find the gain the same way we would find any transistor and we could show that the gain of this operational amplifier would be big GM is equal to GM1 or 2, and R out is equal to R looking up and parallel with R looking down. And in this case, it's approximately GM4, RO4, RO6 in parallel with GM8, RO8, R10. And so our voltage gain, AV, is approximately equal to GM12. And if we say GM4 RO is equal to GM8 and RO4 RO6 are equal to RO8 RO10 are approximately equal, then we could say this is approximately GM RO squared over 2. Very similar to our original cascode circuit in terms of gain. Now, what did we have to give up in order to get this configuration? Well, we need a current biasing transistor M1 and M2, and we need to make sure that the current going through M5 and M6 is enough to, to supply both the cascode current mirror down this way and this current going through M11. So we need more current. Typically, the current flowing through M5 and M6 is approximately between Let's say I M5 and I M6 is approximately between one to two times 
I am 11. Okay, so we have a way in here to get large voltage gain, just like we did with the cascode amplifier, but we can uh, see what benefit we get, and we'll look at that in the next set of the lecture. And it's going to become fairly obvious that the big ben biggest benefit that we get is that we need less voltage headroom to operate the folded cascode, but more current. So we'll write that here. And of course, we can also see that this, uh, uh, just like the telescopic cascode op amp, the output resistance for this particular op amp is very high, so it's not approaching an ideal voltage amplifier, and we don't, and we have very little control over that. On the other hand, if we're using it to drive a CMOS chip, that might not be important.